and Rick here at MathLight. And uh, I was in my classroom on Friday. It was our second day of school. It was a pre-algebra classroom. And uh, the question came up as to what this symbol is. And I, I love this. I really enjoy asking my students what they think this symbol is. And I always ask them. And, you know, I, I can't remember the numbers, but it, it was maybe uh, a third of the class thought that this was a greater than symbol. And the, the rest thought it was a less than. And to be honest with you, they really didn't know. They, they had no clue. And I enjoy it because I, I know what elementary teachers do. And elementary teachers, I understand, you've got to teach them alligators eating things or whatever it is, a crocodile. I've heard many over these 30 years of teaching math. Um, but they didn't know because there were no numbers associated with the symbol. It was just the symbol, just like here you see on the whiteboard. And the students really didn't know what to do and really had no means of figuring it out. And, and I love it when I show them what the symbol really means. And I said, class, it's an arrowhead. This symbol is an arrowhead. And they kind of looked at me funny. So of course, I had to draw it for them. So I put a line and I put some feathers on there. And I said, guys, it's an arrowhead. And they're like, oh. And I said, which way is the arrowhead pointing? And they said, left. And I said, yeah, and what happens to numbers when you go left? And of course, they said, oh, they get smaller. So I said, all right, so what symbol is that? And they said, oh, it's the less than symbol. And I said, exactly right. I said, guys, the symbol's an arrowhead. It points in a direction. When the symbol points to the left, it's obviously less than. And when it points to the right, it's obviously greater than. Hey, I've got nothing against those alligators or crocodiles or whatever they are eating things. But, uh, you know, if you start showing your kids that this is indeed an arrowhead, I think you can help them to never again have trouble with interpreting or properly interpreting the inequality symbols. Just a thought from MathLite.